Hello everyone, and welcome to my Vanderpump Bombshell channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sheena Shea isn't glossing over the present status of her fellowship with Ariana Maddox. Things most certainly aren't where they were a year prior. The Vanderpump Rules star only tells page 6 while advancing her organization with Smirnoff Ice's Serper Frost's crusade at the current year's Coachella, live event in Indio Caliph. Nonetheless, she takes note of that she and spouse Brock Davies were available at Maddox's last April 7 execution in Broadway's Chicago. We didn't actually talk. I mean, I went with Brock. We expressed howdy later, says Shay, 38, recommending that she and Maddox, additionally 38, didn't communicate much previously or after the dramatic creation in New York City. She was totally unimaginable. However, she's an extremely bustling individual the present moment, as am I. Shay is hopeful that she and Maddox can reconnect when the entertainer gets back toward the West Coast in the wake of playing Roxy Hart on the incomparable White Way. Regardless of whether they conflicted during the Walk 16 Vanderpump Rules Season 11 Gathering Taping. I believe it's simply extreme, the position we are in general in, and the gathering didn't be guaranteed to assist with uniting us, she discloses. I can say that. The ongoing portion of Siphon Rules has seen Shay unload her convoluted sentiments about possibly pushing ahead in her fellowship with Tom Sandoval after he went behind Maddox's back with their now-previous castmate Rachel Rackle Levis. While Maddox and Shay have been close for a really long time, the last option has made sense of on the show that her bond with Sandoval, 41, whom she reduced most, if not all, connection with in that frame of mind of his betrayal embarrassment, likewise goes way back, underlined by a liberal monetary gift he gave the great as gold vocalist, when she was battling during the coronavirus pandemic. Maddox said on a walk, watch what happens live with Andy Cohen appearance that she was frustrated in Shay's comments about the circumstance. During the hour of shooting, I most certainly didn't know about a ton of the things that were being said despite my good faith. What's more, I love Sheena profoundly, yet a great deal of things that were said are extremely pernicious, she said on the late night syndicated program. In particular, Pinpointing something is difficult. It's only sort of this overall disposition towards me that I've been seeing that is pretty hurtful. But Shay tells Page Six that she actually has loads of adoration for Maddox and is certain that they can fix their broke dynamic. See, we are an exceptionally tough gathering. We've returned from a ton. I feel like things that have occurred throughout the last year hit uniquely in contrast to anything that is at any point hit this gathering, she says. In any case, never say never. I think right now we as a whole only sort of need a reality to simply zero in on our own professions and families. Ideally, there's a season 12. We as a whole return together and you see the remainder of it then. Until further notice, however, Shay is overjoyed that Maddox purchased a new $1.6 million home in the Hollywood Slopes, a desert garden that the Affection Island USA host can withdraw to without the feeling of dread toward running into ex Sandoval in the kitchen of their Common Valley townhouse. A decent spot in the Hollywood Slopes? I believe it's ideal for her, she enthuses. I believe it's a lot of her energy, and I'm glad that she'll be out of imparting a rooftop to Tom Sandoval. Shay, in the meantime, bought a new $2.5 million spot of her own in Los Angeles' Sherman Oaks area, situated in the San Fernando Valley, the setting of Bravo's Siphon Rules side project, The Valley. The mother of one, who shares Lil Girl Summer Moon, too, with Davies, rushes to close down web-based hypothesis that she and co-star Lala Kent each move to the area to get a spot on the new unscripted series featuring Jax Taylor, Brittany Cartwright, and Kristen Doubt, among other remarkable VPR alums. I simply need to make it clear we didn't buy houses in that frame of mind to attempt to bounce on an alternate show, says the Bravel Brittany, who made an appearance with Kent, 33, in the debut episode of The Valley, as she they are both close with most of the cast.
It's the very best spot to purchase in Lei when you have a family. All things considered, Shay would love to do the two shows, she says. I think the hybrids are truly fun. I trust Vanderpump rules go on for a long time, she underlines. Be that as it may, I think it's a good idea for us to do more hybrids. I believe it's just regular. While she's this on a is break our companion from recording, lunch. Shay is savoring the things that fulfill her. Like going to Coachella with a Smirnoff ice close by. Smirnoff and I go as far as possible back to school. I have really loved Smirnoff for such a long time. So getting to collaborate with this brand is in a real sense a blessing from heaven, says the star, who will go to a Spring Up brand occasion at Coachella this end of the week. It simply dives exceptionally deep for me, my adoration for this brand. I'm eager to carry it to one of my number one celebrations. Shanna Shea as of late uncovered the situation with her companionship with Ariana Maddox. It is apparently not all for both of them. Sheena has been a dedicated companion to Ariana. She has had her covered through all that she has gone through. In any case, it appears to be their fellowship is causing significant damage. Fans are not stunned as Ariana has been driving away anybody who even ganders at Tom Sandoval. Could this be the reason their kinship is failing? Continue to peruse to figure out more. Ariana Maddox acknowledges Sheena Shea is talking awful. Ariana Maddox as of late figured out that Sheena Shea was discussing her during shooting. Watchers saw this and didn't contemplate Ariana being ignorant at that point. During the hour of shooting, I certainly didn't know about a great deal of the things that were being said despite my good faith. Furthermore, I love Sheena truly. However, a ton of things that were said are exceptionally harmful, explicitly. Pinpointing something is difficult. It's only sort of this overall demeanor towards me that I've been seeing that is really harmful. Might she at some point allude Sheena's remark about Ariana being her reinforcement artist? There is a great deal of judgment towards Ariana this season because of her being severe with her companions about their relationship with Tom Sandoval. It appears to be that the two are not close any longer. Sheena Shea uncovered the situation with the kinship. Things most certainly aren't where they were a year prior. I believe it's simply extreme, the position we are in general in, and the gathering didn't be guaranteed to assist with uniting us. I can say that. Lala Kent and Ariana Maddox are likewise supposed to get into a major kinship finishing battle during the gathering episode. It appears to be the get-together will be loaded with show and something fans won't have any desire to miss. It appears to be that the two are not presently on the best of conditions. They might deal with it at last, yet the present moment they are not generally so close as they used to be. Fans were stunned to hear that Maddox wouldn't actually converse with Shay a lot after they went to help her on Broadway. Notwithstanding, perhaps there is more that fans will see on the gathering episode of the show. What is your take? Do you figure they will fix things? Sound off in the remarks underneath. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.